You know, when I was a child, the sophomore flower wanted to be Luke Skywalker more than anything, and I can't tell you how many times that I tried to use the Force. I would just sit there and try to move objects or try to get my body to levitate, and it just never happened. So I have always had a infatuation for levitation due to some childhood dreams that I had when, in which I would teach myself to fly and would actually levitate in my dreams, but that's where it ended. So at this point in life, at age 41, when I hear the stories about monks or priests being so holy they levitate, I actually just kind of cut myself off from the article. Um, and just think about it logically and rationally in which our mutual and collective Sovereign Father, our Creator, created everything by way of natural sciences. So although it was a miracle, it was a miracle of quantum physics. And so is the same with our life on Earth. We are have to surrender to the quantum physics that we are exposed to. And levitation really is cutting yourself off from your five senses and learning how to see things in a different way than we are used to because we have detached from all our senses. And so levitation wouldn't be a physical phenomenon. Levitation would be more of a spiritual phenomenon in which you've left your senses behind and have gone to another dimension, as some people call it. God be with in the name of our Sovereign Father, Commandori, Dominator Flow, Messenger of Sovereign Princeps, Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, the Angels and Saints of Intercessionis, Paraclesius, Amen, Arc Pius, Seti.